Big show ahead on Saints now. We're going to give you an update from OTAs. Plenty of storylines emerging from that. Then we're going to get into some Saints rumors. Zach Bond being traded. Maybe a key linebacker re-signed. We'll talk about it. Also, a roster update. They have signed a UDFA to a three-year deal. Very un very unusual. And then we're going to tell you how to get a shout-out on the show. That's all coming up on Saints Now. And we start with an update from Saints OTAs. A recap of OTAs. And we saw Jarvis Landry take the field with the Saints for the first time. Now, because Jameis is still not fully out there, not a full participant, Andy Dalton took the first team reps. Dennis Allen saying that he knows what he can and can't do. He doesn't want to push it. You know, he wants to do this right, the recovery the right way. That way, by week one, you know, he can be ready to roll. But overall, the rehab has been going good. Here is a picture of Jarvis Landry at OTAs. And, you know, yesterday we showed you Tyron Matthew a first glimpse at him in a Saints jersey. Now we're seeing Jarvis, and I grew up an LSU fan, man. So that is awesome to see those guys in the black and gold. Nick Underhill says the Jarvis Landry practice today. He looked great. Physicality and attitude is what stood out from OTAs. But talking about Andy Dalton for a second here, don't worry about Andy Dalton taking first team reps. Andy Dalton, you know, is a backup quarterback, right? He's not going to be a starter in this league again. He's not a franchise quarterback anymore. So a backup quarterback should always be comfortable taking first team reps because if something happens with Jameis again, then maybe Andy Dalton is the guy. But Andy Dalton taking first team reps doesn't mean anything. It just means that Jameis is not a full participant quite yet, just seven months off of an ACL tear. Rod Walker says it's only been seven days since we lost. It's it's only been seven days since we last saw Jameis Winston. The limp that was talked about last week seemed less noticeable today. Seems to be progressing right along. And guys, look, he's recovering from an ACL tear. You know, relax. You know, it's very normal to be limping, trying to recover from an ACL tear. If anything, it's positive that he's at practice and not in bed, right? He's getting out there. He's with the team. He's practicing. He wants to be involved. So he's not going to be 100% uh, right now, and that's okay. But he is expected to be a full go for preseason games. Are you concerned about Winston's ACL recovery? Type Y for yes, type N for no. Look, obviously, torn ACL is very serious. Probably one of the more serious injuries, not just in football, but in sports. But I remind you what other people have done recovering, coming back from a torn ACL. Joe Burrow took the Bengals to the Super Bowl last year. Maybe Jameis can do the same with the Saints. People also in attendance at OTAs. You got Will Lutz. That's great to see. That's going to be a, a big-time return. He might win Comeback Player of the Year, honestly, with the impact he's going to have on the Saints as the kicker. Marcus May, Andres Pete, Kentavious Street, and Adam Troutman all there. Now let's get into some Saints linebacker rumors. But before we do that, hit that big red sub button if you think New Orleans has the best food in the world. Gumbo, beignets, everything in between. Absolutely outstanding. The food in New Orleans, fantastic. And, you know, while you're down there subscribing, comment what your favorite restaurant is in New Orleans. I'd love to hear from you. I might be there for the uh, for the LSU Florida State game in September, so I want to hit up Bourbon Street, check out some restaurants. So get down in the comments, let me know what I need to do. It's been a few years since I've been to Nola. Now let's get into those Saints linebacker rumors we discussed earlier. One of them being potentially trading Zach Bond because some people just believe that he doesn't have what it takes to start at the linebacker position. Would the Saints look to trade? the 2023rd round pick. That's the question. Meanwhile, Kawan Alexander still out there as a free agent. You can go you can go out there and get him back. Now, Bond last year, 30 tackles, two QB hits, just didn't have the production that the Saints were looking for. What defensive coordinator Dennis Allen, now head coach, was looking for? A 44.6 PFF grade. His coverage grade even worse, a 38.4. We're looking at the current Saints depth chart. We have him slotted on the right side, starting there, Demario Davis in the middle, and then Pete Warner on the left side as the wide linebacker. 
Bleacher Report did say that the Saints should look to trade Bond before week one of the 2022 season. Maybe a reason for that. You could still re-sign Quan Alexander, who is by far the better option, by far more productive. Now, is Quan the same player he once was back in Tampa Bay? No, but he's still a high-quality player. Had three and a half sacks and eight starts last season. Several, seven tackles for loss. Seven quarterback hits. Much more productive, much more athletic and dynamic than Zach Bond. I think by far the better option to start, even though he's a little bit older. So if you're Mickey Loomis and you had to make a big decision, what would you do? Would you re-sign Quan Alexander? If so, type S. Would you go out and trade for a linebacker, type T? Or would you start Zach Bond, type Z, down in the chat? I will say, typing T is a little bit interesting. What if you can go steal Deion Jones from the Atlanta Falcons? Even though they would never trade <laughs> Deion Jones to us. You should go, though, and get your... Chat Sports Honey Badger jersey at chatsports.com slash Honey Badger. Now, uh, the double zero, th that's just the number they have right now because his official number hasn't been officially released. So that's not the number that you're going to get on your doorstep. When the number is released, that's the number you're going to get uh, at your doorstep. So chatsports.com slash Honey Badger. Honey Badger cares if you get his jersey. Honey Badger, don't, Hunter Badger don't care about the uh, about the Atlanta Falcons, though. They suck. <laughs> Moving on to Pete. Uh, geez, Louise. This is just one of those days, Team Money. It's all right. Moving on to Brett Tesler. He says the New Orleans Saints just signed my client, Kalik Washington, who is a guard and tackle out of Southern Miss to a three-year deal, was in post-mini camps with the Ravens and the Saints, a talented young lineman. Three-year deal for UDFA is wild. Let's talk about this guy. Uh, has some versatility. Played a lot of tackle and a lot of guard at Southern Miss. Now, the reason that this sticks out is because it's a three-year deal. So it sounds like to me that he really, it really impressed with both the Saints and the Ravens in their camps, and maybe it was kind of a bidding war for Kalik Washington, someone who might have a good chance of making the roster now. And the Saints kind of won up the Ravens, gave him a three-year deal. He's an athlete, also played basketball in high school. So he's 6'4", 313 pounds, a little bit bigger than me. Hand size, 10, and then the wingspan, big time, 77 and an eighth. He was at Southern Miss, so not too far uh, down the road over there in Mississippi. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting. You know, I obviously don't know a lot about him. We haven't talked about him as a UDFA, but let's go ahead and add him to this offensive line depth chart. And it's certainly going to be an uphill battle in terms of him making the roster. So I wonder when you, when you look at this depth chart and you consider the three-year deal he got, I just don't know what that means in terms of him making the roster because at the moment, we do not know the guaranteed money that comes with it. A lot of times, UDFAs, if they get a lot of guaranteed money, they have a very good chance to make the roster. Going to be interesting to see if we can get those details. But Washington did play guard, and he did play tackle well at USM. So that is why he has a decent chance of maybe making this roster is because of his versatility. And I think a lot of times it does come down to that. When UDFAs are trying to make the roster, can they play multiple positions? What's their special team's value? Washington, versatile offensive lineman, can play tackle and guard well. So that's going to be interesting to see once we get into preseason and training camp if he kind of stands out. Do you like this move, signing Kalik Washington to a three-year deal? Type L down in the chat if you like it, or if you dislike it, go ahead and type D. What you should also do is follow my guy T Money, producer Trace on Twitter, at TraceGerard48. He's a cool guy, man. you got to go follow him. First 10 will get a shout-out. Got to follow him on Instagram, at TraceGerard48, and on Twitter. Same handle on both platforms. You're going to get a shout-out on a future show if you go ahead and follow him. First 10 to do so. Also, get a follow back. This has been Will Scott with Saints Now. Who dat?